Hey team, thanks for joining me. Today we're going to be taking a look at a post from r slash engineering students titled recently graduated and can't find a job. Oh, also make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. Doesn't really do anything for you, but it helps me out a lot. So thanks if you do that. I double majored in mechanical engineering and physics for my bachelor's degree then received a master's degree in mechanical engineering this May. For the last six months, I've applied to just about every engineering job within an hour of my home that I've come across. A little over 50 companies, many times multiple positions within the same company, and some are still pending. And so far, I have only received rejection notices. Some of the positions I know that over 20 people applied for a single position, but it's still frustrating. I definitely thought at this point I would have at least one job offer. Yeah. The tech world is in the shitter right now. I feel so bad for anyone that just graduated. Like it's been bad the past few years, but this year, I don't even know how it's possible. Like how can you feel optimistic, let alone hopeful at all at this point? It is tough, but, and you know, <laughs> it feels shitty to say this, but you do have to remain hopeful and optimistic. You will only keep getting rejected until you get accepted. And that's stupid, but it's true. The reason it's so hard to get a tech job right now is obviously because of the economy. You know, these companies can't pay for new employees, so they're not gonna hire them. In fact, a lot of companies are going through cuts. You know, they're trying to look inward to be like, how can we reduce costs that they wouldn't take new ones on? And they're trying to get smarter about who do we actually need here? So they're not just hiring people for the sake of it, but they are hiring some people, right? Like there are people out there getting jobs. So why not me? Well, that's, yeah, the obvious question here. I know one of the answers is that a lot of these companies like to hire internally, so they'll, you know, post a rec, post a position online, and you'll see it and apply to it and be like, awesome, I got an equal chance. And then they'll just hire someone internally and take it down. It's easier, they know that person already knows the ecosystem of the company. It's a very seamless process. At a time when companies aren't looking to take big risk, hiring internally is a very safe option for them. But it leaves everyone on the outside kind of shit out of luck. And that's you in this situation. So how the hell do you get in, right? It's such a prestigious elite club. How do you get your foot in the door? And I got some good news for you. It's actually just very simple. You just need to know someone in the club. This is something I found to be true five years ago and I still think it holds true. And that is if you are trying to get a job, as long as you can talk to a real person, your chances of getting a job just go up by like 90%. Because a lot of times, sure, your resume goes through this portal and it sits in this virtual pile and then it never gets looked at or it just gets discarded for some XYZ reason. But if you can get a resume, you can get yourself in a real person's vision in their hand, there is a very good chance that they can do something with that. Even if they themselves can't hire you, they can, you know, ship you off somewhere else and be like, oh, you're not a good fit or I don't have the resources to hire you right now, but I think you would be great here with this team that fits your vision and has the resources to hire you. But that transfer only happens if you get yourself in front of a real person. So obviously, yes, easier said than done, but if you can focus more on how do I get myself in front of a real person rather than how do I apply to 700 places, I think that will behoove you a little more. So if you are still at college, Look at where these companies are going to be tabling at. Is there some conference or some event where they're going to come to the campus? Go to those and get your resume in front of a real person. I know this is annoying, but LinkedIn, if you can somehow find someone at the company, you see a job that you like and you can see who the hiring manager is, maybe find them on LinkedIn and message them and be like, hey, I'm interested in this. Do you think, you know, I'm a good fit? Do you think you could take a look at my resume? Even just doing that, I know it sounds annoying and I don't know how often this will work, but the LinkedIn thing, like that puts you in front of a real person. You go from a resume in a pile to a person with a name and a person with a name gets a job way easier than a resume in a pile. I even heard this girl on TikTok give this piece of advice that you should apply to a job and then immediately follow up with the company, call them and be like, hey, did you guys get my resume? And then sometimes, more often than not, she said, they'll go find your resume and be like, oh yeah, we got it here. Yeah, we'll pass it along. And then already, she's a step ahead of the pile. She got out of the pile. This is all a game to get out of that fucking pile. Now, this isn't to say that if you do get in front of a person, you will get a job guaranteed, but it gives you a fighting chance. So basically my advice is remain hopeful and try to get in front of a person. Besides that, I don't know if there's much else you can do. But 
there's someone that would know, and that is the commons. So let's take a look at the commons. Tough times, buddy. Try expanding your job search beyond your current location. Might land a good one. That is a good piece of advice. You have kept it within 50 miles of yourself, I think you said. If you try to expand that search, you might get more luck. Who knows? I saw a lot of comments that were saying that applying only 50 times is not that much, and this comment talks about that too, saying that going off of what others are saying, yes, 50 is not a lot, start applying to more. Also, at this point, if you haven't even landed an interview, it's time to rethink your resume. Are you writing personalized cover letters for each job? Hang in there. When I graduated last May, it took me until October to find a job. I was applying to just about everything under the sun. Just be patient and keep applying. Oh, I don't know. Did they say that they didn't get an interview? Oh, okay. They say, so far, I've only received rejection notices. I don't know what point in the process that means they got to, but that is, you know, worth a shot. Evaluate what you are currently doing. Obviously, it's not working. I don't know how much of that is in your control or outside of your control, but that's another good note. Control what you can control. So see what you can improve on your own and try to improve it. The time to get an internship was during undergrad. You are overeducated and underqualified. You would also be lucky to find an entry level job. The OP comes back and says I had two internships during undergrad. So basically, fuck you for saying that guy. <laughs> but this shows how tough the market is right now, right? This is a person with experience, with a master's degree even, and they still can't find a job. But if you are listening to this and you are still in school, I would advise that yes, try to get as many internships as you can before you graduate because you might end up like this guy is saying, overeducated and underqualified. At the end of the day, the people applying for engineering jobs all have degrees. What sets them apart? Real world experience. So try to get as much of that as you can. Obviously it doesn't apply to our original poster in this case, but it can maybe apply to you if you're listening to this. Apply for an inspection job with a state dot. I know my agency will take any engineering degree to start inspectors. Plus most dots will pay mileage and sometimes commute time to job site. Can be a nice holdover till you find something more ME related. That's a good point. Yeah, just try to get what you can now. It will bolster your real life experience so that you will have, you know, more ammunition when you're trying to apply to a job. Plus it'll give you some amount of salary to get going right now. And I heard some other people talking about it, the dots or, you know, any of these temporary programs, sometimes they can transfer into a full time job. So maybe take advantage of those, right? Get one foot in the door before you get both feet into the door. So basically what I was saying earlier, you gotta remain hopeful and do what you can. And one thing that you can do is follow me on Instagram, like this video and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in the next one.